In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to color in specific areas of an image using Photoshop. I'm going to open up an image. In this case, I'm using a map. This technique will work on any image that has a light colored background, like white, and a very dark foreground, like these black lines and black text. You could do this sort of a process in another program like Microsoft Paint, using the Fill Bucket tool, but it doesn't give you quite as much flexibility as what we can do in Photoshop. I'm going to start by zooming in on my image. I'm going to get my Zoom tool and just click and drag over an area of the image to zoom in. Next, I'm going to select a couple of areas. This should be pretty easy because I have a uniform color for my background. First, I'll go over here to my Quick Selection tool. I'm actually going to right-click and choose Magic Wand tool. Magic Wand is available in lots of different painting applications. I'll just select that, and up here at the top you can see I have an option for Tolerance, 32. Now, that's the amount of variance in color that Photoshop will allow while still selecting something. I actually don't need to worry about too much tolerance because I pretty much just want to select the white areas, so I'm going to set my tolerance down to 1. And now all I have to do is click inside of an area, and it will fill that area with a selection. You'll notice that the text didn't get selected, and I probably want to go ahead and add that to my selection so that all the areas like inside the O's here will get filled. So to do this I need another selection tool. I'm going to get my lasso. This allows me to just draw a freeform selection. I'm going to go up here to the options at the top and choose to add to an existing selection. And now I'll just click and drag and let go and the whole word gets added to my selection. Now I have a selection. You can see this little crawling marquee here of just this one area. Now to fill it, very easy, I go and choose my brush tool. From the options I can choose the size of my brush. If I bring this up and then move the mouse out here you can see different size brushes. I'll just choose something reasonable. I'll collapse that, and then I can choose a color to paint with. I'll go down here to my color options, bring up the color picker, and select a color by dragging around inside this box. I can change the hue from the side, and click OK. Now I can just paint, and everything that I paint will stay within that selected area. You can see we have one problem here. I've painted over the label completely, so I'm going to go and undo that. The thing that we can do to preserve the text, and again this only works if you have dark foreground text, is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the mode that I paint with. Instead of painting normally, which just paints everything over the top of what already exists, I'm going to use something called Multiply. This will cause only the darker color to show up. So if I paint with Multiply selected and go over this area, you'll see that now the text still comes through and I still paint within the lines. Once I'm done, I can click the Select menu and just choose to deselect. That gets rid of my selection, and now I have my area filled in. So let's review by doing another area. I'm going to get out my Magic Wand tool. I'm going to first start off by selecting an area, and then maybe I'll add several other areas to this. So I want to go back up to my options, and make sure that I'm adding to a selection. That will keep this selection in place, and now as I click another area, it gets added. Now I click another area, and it gets added, and another area. Now I can finish that up with my Lasso tool, I'll just click and drag around the words here, make little circles, drag, let go, click, drag, let go, and now I have all of my areas ready to be filled in. Once again, I get out my brush tool, I choose a color, I make sure I'm in multiply, and I just start painting over these areas. I can take very big, wide strokes here, it doesn't matter. As long as I have that selection active, it's not going to let me go outside the lines. Once I'm done, select, deselect, and I'm ready to move on.